Good evening. My name is Stephen DeWitt, and I'm part of the men's division, which JB was also part of. As someone had talked about earlier today, we do a, a weekend called the Legacy Discovery Weekend within MDI. And one of my claims to fame within MDI is I actually did my, M, uh, excuse me, my Legacy Discovery Weekend with JB, and he did it for the first time. And I remember there's an exercise called, I think it was like the truth about money or something like that. And now JB was in the older age bracket of the people attending the Legacy Discovery Weekend. And I always remember we were in this large circle and I was standing there and I tend to have some opinions about a few things. And there's this old guy sitting down and just staring at me. And I'm yabbering about something. And he just looks at me, he's like, sit down and shut up! <laughs> he's like, who the F is this guy and where did he come from? <laughs> A number of years later within MDI, I had the privilege to lead different exercises. And at the end of leading the exercise to 50 or 60 men, JB would be sitting there He'd be looking at me again. And I'd get scared. <laughs> but then a magical thing happened. He would come up to me later. And he'd be like, DeWitt. He's like, that was great. He's like, I got a lot from that. And he'd give me this big hug. And it landed with me like, this is a man 79 years old and he's still learning. And he's still evolving. And even though I was scared, JB had this magical ability, and people have talked about it tonight, to actually really connect and really honor who you are and what you're going through. And that was one of the magical things I'll remember about JV. JV, excuse me. One of the last times I saw JV was at St. Mike's in the ICU. And, you know, we had gotten an email that went out and gave us some direction about, you know, how to be with JV, because he's not in a responsive state. So I walk in and there's JV lying there, so I'm my usual shit disturber self. And I start, you know, telling JB stories and making fun of him and just having a ball with him. And the day nurse was there, a gentleman by the name of Carl, and he was just having a hoop because JB and I were just having a lot of fun. But there was this moment, and I was just quiet for me. <laughs> but I was quiet, and I was just with JB, and I was, he was lying there, and I was just with him, and I looked across and there was a 21 year old boy and he had been shot by a straight bullet and it was in that moment when I was, was with JB that I really got you know, what life is about and the legacy that that is there for us to live, because that 21-year-old didn't have the opportunity to do that. I went to New York that weekend, and I found out that Jamie had passed on a Saturday. And I took on that weekend. What would JB do? And it was a really confronting weekend for me, and I just played full out. And it was ugly, it was uncomfortable, I cried, I got yelled at, like there was just a whole bunch of stuff, but I just kept that moment that I had with JB of what would JB do? And here we are tonight, and we're talking about a legacy, and the Legacy Discovery Weekend with you know, Junkin and JB, and they developed that. And I think about, for myself, what would JB want me to do? And the legacy that that I can live. And I would invite, you know, to keep JV's legacy going on is 
ask yourself that question. I've talked to men here tonight. You know, they're going out tonight. They're facing things like, what would JB do? You know, the answer that, that I have in my head from JB is like, don't give a fuck and just do it. So that's something that I'm taking away and something that you know, JV left with me. I'm Stephen DeWitt and I'm complete. Thank you.